Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to the Goblin Cave. Your man Crypto Goblin here. We're going to be taking a look at Spaceport Coin. If you've been like me as of late, I've definitely been uh, obsessed with gaming and crypto, play to earn, yada, yada, yada. And I've just been going through so many projects. And I found this as a late Spaceport. Play to earn. Uh, it's an arcade style game if you take a look at what we got right here uh sure telegram y ya no oh, okay never mind yeah it, it's um it, it's a pretty fun game honestly it's very nostalgic reminds you of like some arcade dive bar type of beat um so today i kind of just want to dissect this and take a good look at this because i i actually had my money in this i put like a thousand dollars in this and i was playing to earn but there there is some sus stuff about this project that kind of made me fearful and I backed out completely because I don't know. I don't trust this project entirely, to, to be honest. There, um, in my personal opinion, there are some red flags. So if we just look at, for instance, anonymous team, like there's no, there's nothing about the team, which kind of, you know, makes me a little, <laughs> makes me a little sus. We look at the white paper, um, it's a very simple concept, but like essentially you get paid out 5% of what you're holding and there is a big tax on, um, there's a big tax when you buy and there's an even fatter tax when you sell, which may seem like a good thing that encourage people to hold. But at the same time, I, I just, I feel like this is a scam. I'm just, just going to be honest, man. This project just doesn't, it just doesn't seem, uh, doesn't seem legit. It's very small. Uh, you can't even see the market cap. The The diluted market cap is about 8 mil. So this is probably like anywhere between 1 to 5 million market cap. So it's very small. If you look at the chart, you know, it's like, oh, wow. It, it has gone up from, what is that, a 4x? This project has 4x in a time frame of just a couple of weeks. Uh, but you need to be extremely careful because we have these games. Look at look at what happened to Crypto Blades. Okay, look at this project right you have this phase of it's like just getting adoption and then it kaplams this project did 100x right did 100x fantastic but look at look how long this lasted until it just completely just got decked we had an 86.7 correction from the top fucking brutal man brutal correction so if you've been following this project it's no longer profitable people who are playing it you're you're hardly uh breaking even now and man a lot of these games are trash i'm just gonna be straight up with you who who the hell is gonna like if if the play to earn concept is just clicking it's gonna get botted hard even this game can be botted very hard so i have my i have my concerns with this you know i did fomo in i was like yo this is gonna be nuts and I feel like there's not a lot of transparency. There's a there's a ten percent tax on liquidity, so each transaction triggers a liquidity rate of ten percent, which strengthens the price floor of SPC over time. Then the SPC tokens another ten percent to the prize pool. So, if you are um, we'll do some quick maths, if you're earning, this this game allows you to earn five percent on whatever you have deposited. So you essentially play the game, right? So you go to here, you hit play to earn, like very janky. <laughs> just very janky UI. Uh, I'm just, I know it's early, okay? I know, and I get it. You know, maybe it's just early project. They're doing their thing. They're trying to get it going. I understand, but it's just jank, man. Like, this UI is just jank. Like, so you, you, you can check how much you've earned. I've earned total 82. Um, of this total payout that I've earned, I only saw $30 of it, which it, to me is just BS. Like, what the hell? And. I know there's a 20% tax. So get this. Of the eight of the 82 I was supposed to be paid out, I only received $30 in SPC. I did the calculations. You get paid out on the native token. So I only received 30 bucks. Um, and then if you want to cash out, you get taxed again aggressively. So it's like, dude, well, what the hell? <laughs> what What is this? It, it, it's just so much aggressive taxing to... Uh, to encourage you to hold but it's like i i don't i don't want to hold this token man this just feels like the government all over again what kind of 
policies are this it's trash so of the tokens you're actually holding you're not really reaping like yeah you could be making five percent but the tax is so aggressive on the earnings. And then when you sell, you get taxed again. It's just, it's just stupid. Um, it's just stupid. And I understand like, if you want to hold it, buy it, hold it and wait, make a big ROI, you know, the taxing is insignificant, but there's just superior projects out there. It's like, why, why play this when you can just play Axie? You know what I mean? And that's a much better game. You actually trust it. There's real, real people actually making income off it and you don't get, the whole point of play to earn in my eyes is to actually take the money out in the short term. People who want to play to earn. Yeah, maybe you want to increase your holdings as a whale, but what like, you know, you under, you get what I mean, right? So the gameplay is great. Honestly, I love I loved playing it. If you um, I just want to show you right here. You know, it's it's fun. You just it's just like a classic. Uh, I forget what this game is called. It's just a classic shooter type beat. But you need to be careful, man, that they're, they're not being transparent on how aggressive the taxation is, because when I ran the numbers and when I actually got paid out, it wasn't um, it just was not as it seems it, this temp this 20% tax is more like a 30 to 40% tax, um, which is just dumb. Like, I'm not even selling, but they're already taxing me on how much I'm earning natively through the game, which is not cool, in my opinion, at least be more transparent. Once again, anonymous team. Like, what else can we really say here? So be very careful, yo. Don't get eluded and, oh, 5% earnings. Some things, they're just too good to be true. And the reason why I brought up um, Crypto Blades is you need to be aware. Some of these games, they're just cash grabs, man. They're dreaming really big, but they don't create a sustainable model. And if you can get in on this part here, phenomenal. Even the people who got in here when it was just super, super low before it hit like, critical mass even even like at, you're still at a 24x on crypto blades if you got in at a dollar so even if the project flops pretty hard or has a massive correction you're not burnt but you need to be really careful um when when things start going up you know because they're, they're just so young these projects are so young they're so high risk they're very ambitious i i, I love what they're doing but at the same time you know <laughs> You don't want to be sitting on an 86.7% correction. It just hurts so bad. People like when the people were making videos on this, they're like, yeah, yeah, get in, <laughs> get in on, on crypto blades. And imagine you dropped a bag on that, dude, your money just fucking disappeared. <laughs> it's just so painful. So be careful. You can experiment with this, but you know, if you put a thousand in, even if you even if you buy this coin, you hold it. If you want to sell, there's already such an aggressive tax. It's kind of reminding me of like Safe Moon. It's just it just has weird vibes, man. I don't like this. I personally am, am not gonna be uh, going back into this project. I mean, let's just see how things unfold over time. Maybe things things will get more ironed out. You know, obviously you can't always have a perfect launch or a perfect uh, execution, but um, be careful, okay? Anonymous team, not good, right? Second to that, the concept is so easily botted. You could have a bot doing this for you earning. So when you have a play to earn model that's bottable, it can be exploited and just completely shat on. Like look what happened with uh, block creatures. Look at this, this crap coin. Look at this shit coin. So block creatures started off incredible for about a week. And then the dev basically just shat on the project. And he's like, all right, I'm just going to dump this thing to hell. Just dumping and dumping. Someone's dumping this thing to hell. A 92% correction? Like, are you fucking kidding me, man? So this project is just done, in my opinion. It's just dead. It's gone. I mean, you could buy it now, right now. But, like, <laughs> this is the thing. These are very short-lived projects. They're like strippers. Like, you know, you have that one good year. And then you're just toast after that. So be extremely cautious. In my opinion, you're better off going for the blue chip, blue chip crypto gaming projects like Star Atlas. This one uh, IDO'd recently, uh, shot up. It's correcting. Don't buy this yet. Maybe it can dip down a bit more. But like, buy the blue chippers. Like, keep your eyes on the blue chippers and only put money into these experiments that you're willing to lose because it's just so risky and so smokes and mirrors. You you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't want to get burned. Um, 
So yeah, I just wanted to share my experience with this. I honestly hope this project does good. I hope everybody who's in this makes money. But um, my, I definitely had this in the gut feeling of like, this is a red flag. And, you know, when you have that feeling, I think it's better to um, it's better to <laughs> listen to it, especially when you have good reason for it than to just, uh, you know, delude yourself into, oh, be bullish, hold it, hold it, hold it. Like, do you know how many um, think about all these meme coins that I wonder what's happening with safe moon, but look at all these meme coins that just got turded on. OK, will they ever recover? Look, look, look at this. OK. You have you have other quality altcoins who are just crushing it. Look at this. Look at this guy run. But the I think the meme coins outside of like the blue chip meme coin like Doge is done. Look at this shit. Look how 96.8% correction. 96.8. Holy shit, man. Just totally sh destroyed. Now like I said, you can throw a couple hundred in here. Don't put your life savings in it. Like 96.8. Like that's brutal. So be really careful, man. Be extremely careful. Try to stick with higher quality projects, yo. And like when in doubt, just wait. Don't FOMO. FOMOing is the work of the devil, yo. So I'll, I'll probably talk more about other stuff. But um, yeah, that's Spaceport. I like the mechanics. But it's, in, in conclusion, it's a game that can be easily botted. And if it can be easily botted, then the, the basically just destroys the whole community and uh, the tokenomics because people will just bot the living crap out of it and dump. Um, they're not being transparent with this. The, there's there's things going on behind the scenes that, you know, the, the dev is just paying out however much he wants to pay out. I don't think they're actually respecting their policies, which as a consumer of this product makes me feel like, fuck you, like. I'm, I'm fine with the taxation. This makes sense, but be transparent. Is this actually 20%? Why am I being paid out like half of what I, what I should be? Where, where is my other tokens? You know, if I'm going to put two grand into this project so I can earn 5% daily. And here's the thing, man, 5% daily is not fucking sustainable, dude. Like it just doesn't make sense. Like a 5% a APY per day. What is that per year, dude? Like it's just, it doesn't make any sense. 365, if you're earning um, 5%, so they're, they're going to be paying you at 1800% per year. Are you, are you trolling? That doesn't work. It, it does not work. It's short. Like if you can get in early and reap that reward right now, that's great. But as soon as this project pick, picks up, these daily rewards are just going to dwindle. So, you know, you can don't, don't, realize that this is a project that can literally just change on a whim and um a lot of the people who are you know making making money off this and enjoying it like let's see what let's see these testimonials right testimonials once again like do not believe this shit it could just be made up always assume the worst what like could, is this is this real maybe but it can also be faked you know it could totally be faked I can't even read this shit. <laughs> it's going by so fast. I can't even like read this shit. So I, I'm just not, not impressed with this project. Um, you know, learn about all the shitty projects so you can start realizing the good from the bad. This one has potential, but they need to iron some things out. That's just my honest opinion. Anyways, if you like me talking about or doing my little rants, uh, smash up that like, yo. Drop some love down below. Cheers.